All right, here's our next example. Uh, we want to approximate the square root of 4.5 using a differential. Okay. Now, here we have to be a bit careful. It's not quite as laid out as the previous problem was. We have to think a little bit about what's going on. So first of all, right, we need a function, right? Differentials apply to functions. Uh, so we look at this, well, what are we trying to calculate? Square root of a number, right? So we're doing something to a number, what are we doing? We're doing a square root, that must be our function. So we're going to let f of x equal the square root of x, okay? Um, and we're going to consider this near the point x equals 4, right? And we're going to do this with our dx equal to 0 0.5, right? Why 4? Well, because we know what the square root of 4 is, right? Um, maybe maybe 0 0.5 is, you know, for some situations, maybe 0 0.5 is kind of big, but that's all right. Um, we know the square root of 4, right? Uh, what's the next closest perfect square? I'm not sure. So we go with, we go with 4 because we know that root 4 is 2. Okay. So now we calculate that so we let y equal to f of x, so dy, and f of x is root x, so dy is going to be f prime of x times dx. So that's going to be, so remember the derivative of the square root function is 1 over 2 root x times dx, right? Okay, good. Now, at x equals 4, we get dy is 1 over 2 root 4 times dx. So square root of 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 1 quarter dx. Okay? Or if you like, because you know we're going to be doing decimal approximations, maybe you want to write that as 0 0.25 times dx. Okay. All right, so now we know that the square root of 4.5, it's approximately the square root of 4 plus dy, where dx is going to be our 0 0.5, right? So this is going to be uh, 2 plus 0 0.25 times dx, 0.5, right? So we're just going to put the 0 0.5 in there. Um, so this is going to be 2.125 for our result, okay? Not too bad, right? So it's not the exact right answer for that square root. Feel free to punch it in your calculator, see what the exact value is. Um, but we can do it by hand. That's the point, right? Um, I didn't have a calculator handy here. I'm still able to work out that answer. Yeah, I mean, okay, you had to think a little bit to do that multiplication. But you can do it if you can't do it in your head. You can at least do it pencil and paper, right, without a calculator. Um, this, to get the exact value, you certainly can't do that without a calculator. So this is why differentials are useful.